This is Ali Latif, uh, Community Engagement Worker for Sporting Communities. Um, I, I did a, um, a video not long ago uh, about cycling, about my experiences of cycling. And um, I just wanted to add a few more. I thought it might be helpful. Uh, again, from my own experiences, I've been riding um, uh, over the last three weeks. And uh, so I've made, made five, six points. And uh, so, so here we go. But before I do that, don't forget, we're still in lockdown. And when you go out, please observe the uh, government's um, social distancing rules. You can ride, but you have to ride in pairs and obviously keeping your distance. Um, I, as I said, people start walking uh, in the parks, they, they, they jog in the parks, or for someone like me, cycling is the, has been my option. And, uh, but, but bear in mind all of the, uh, the, the, the rules that we have to follow, and it can be still very, very enjoyable. Um, so I mentioned again previously, I mentioned about being visible. Um, it's, it gets dark around five, half past five now, and uh, I've been out half past six till half past eight, you know, a group of us go out. So one, again, make sure you've got front lights and rear lights, and make sure those lights are properly charged because you don't want to go halfway three quarters of the way on the way back the lights are gone it really really i can't stress the importance of being visible you know brighter clothes and lights even i would even go as far as to say even when you're riding in the daytime to leave your bike light on rear light on because at least it's flashing and people the drivers can see you um again from my experience i was riding last week it, it was wet and um, I braked and it was very, very risky because your wheels lock and I don't know how I kind of managed to stay on my bike. Uh, but I did and I thought, right, that's one of the things I need to share with you. So whether it's icy conditions or wet road conditions or blustery, it's, you know, windy weather, if, if and when you need to slow down, give yourself plenty of time. It's a bit like you know a, a car as well if it's wet conditions longer braking uh, distance time so whether it's downhill around the bend around the corner whatever you need to slow down give yourself plenty of time okay so even you know drivers behind you can see you're slowing down um, if you need to turn left or right wherever you need to turn do indicate left so people drivers can see you yeah yeah, right or left, whichever way you're going, do indicate. I mentioned, uh, again, I think I mentioned clothing before. Appropriate clothing. So last week, it was freezing cold. I had six layers on. So my body was warm, but my hands were still very, very cold. I came back after an hour and a half. I, couldn't, I could hardly feel my fingers with the gloves on. So, you know, if it's cold weather, you can enjoy it, you can enjoy riding in cold weather, but appropriate clothing, appropriate layers. Um, if it's raining, again, put a rain, rainproof top on. You can enjoy it, you can enjoy the rides. And again, obviously, with the, in the summer, if you're riding in the summer, you don't need to wear all of these layers, just maybe a t-shirt is, is sufficient. Um, maintenance. I will show you my bike shortly. Once you've gone out for a ride in the wet weather, and sometimes some of the places you go through are muddy, your bike is going to get dirty. And, and it's really, really important that you, when you come home, your bike needs to be clean. Um, I'm guilty of this, I haven't cleaned my bike. It's been, I think it's been uh, two or three months now. But um, a friend that was advising me last night, um, you know, just get a hose pipe or, or, or watering can, get some hot water, just generally wash it first with soapy water and then uh, the, uh, the the chains and the uh, cassette all of those things you can uh, use a brush to make it shiny shiny as anything and it, it does actually improve your performance improves your ride i'm always at the back so obviously i'm not doing it right so <laughs> i'm going to have to wash mine and see if, uh, if that improves um i've also put down things like as you know as part of maintenance you know when you're when you've been out for a ride, do check your brakes, you know, do check your chain, do check your tires, you know, are they worn, are they okay? Um, and these are really, really important things. If, if you can keep 
you know, on top of these things, you you, you would be safe. And then, um, as I said, it's 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 a wonderful wonderful um, sport. You can enjoy it if you want to, whatever level you're at. Uh, I would see I'm seeing myself as a beginner still. Even in the lockdown, I hope you guys are keeping busy. Whatever it is, do something. Just don't s sit indoors. It is very depressing. Hopefully, the lockdown might be over soon. In the meantime, best of luck, and uh, I will show you my bike now. What it looks, what, how filthy it is at the moment. <laughs> yeah, and um, I, again, as you all know, most important, one of the most important things is a helmet. I've got my daughter's helmet because I just need to demonstrate what size you need for your for your head. Um, I've got a big head, I think, so I need a bigger helmet. But just to say how it needs to, so this is my daughter's pink bike, uh, pink helmet. And as you can see, it's not, it's not going, uh, it demonstrate. it's not going down. It should, it should be, it should fit all the way around and I can't tie it here. So something like that, you don't want to be, you don't want to put something on for show because you've got a helmet on and it needs to actually do the job and that's to protect your head. In the, in the event of a fall. So this is mine. I've got mine this kind of color, so at least I'm a little bit visible. Um, these, kind of, these move at the back, so it gives you a nice snug, snug fit. Um, and, and how it should be there, it's gone all the way around my head, and it's nice, it should be nice. So it's not too tight, so you can't breathe, and it's not too loose, so when I'm when I'm riding, it's gone over my eyes because that again that can be quite dangerous. So it needs to be nice and easy. You can put your finger here, and um, and there you go, really. Okay, now. So this is my bike. I'm out in my garden. It's um, um, it's it's fairly dry, a bit damp but dry. So last night. I uh, was out riding and uh, it started raining. So some of the places that we went to, as you can see, this all the bit, bit of a mess around the tires, around here as well. You can see all the mud around here, there was all that. Yeah. And then also around the um, cassette. So all of this really needs to be shining as anything. It needs to be proper shiny mine's as you can see both the chain chain's a little bit filthy and uh, and uh, the cassettes are quite filthy as well so this is really important if you want to um you know get the speed and, and everything else just to keep it all uh, washed and clean all along here as you can see it's been quite a bit of uh, uh, dust mud gathered around there last night here um so it shouldn't take more than half an hour. You can get some degreaser from, um, I don't know whether I could, uh, mentioned this, um, screw fix and maybe other shops. You can get these degreasers for about six. Yeah. Uh, you can get this degreaser. Uh, you can buy a degreaser, I, I think six to eight pounds, um, and that can last you a few months. Otherwise, plain uh, warm water, warm soapy water, just give it a, a, a you need a cloth and a brush. Just give it a wash first, and then get the small brush, and in between there, rub all that down. And then you can get lube. You can get, um, you know, the uh, um, wet weather lube and all these dis different types of oil that you can use. Um, and that's really it, really. That's I, as you can see, I've got two <laughs> two rear lights uh, that I use. So I don't know whether I'm sure. Oh, here you go. Yeah, I had these on last night. Oh, there you go. I think this one batteries are about had it. But yeah, you know, important. We might not realise, but it's really important to uh, make sure that you're properly uh, visible. Okay. Yeah. Spot on.